Welcome to Shield Stravaganza Part 2, where we're going to be talking about every single one of the shields that we carry for Arduino here at Sparkfun Electronics. This is Part 2, so if you want to check out the rest of the videos, look below in the description. We're also going to briefly cover each board, so if you want to know more information, also check the description below and I'll take you to each individual product page. So let's get started. This is the Light Power Shield. The Light Power Shield allows you to use a LiPo battery with your Arduino. You plug in your LiPo battery there and you can charge it over the USB jack. It even has a booster that boosts everything up to five volts. This is the PO Ethernet Shield. PO Ethernet Shield allows your Arduino to talk over your network. It has a micro SD card socket and of course an Ethernet jack. This does use power over Ethernet, although it doesn't comply to the exact standards, so you're not gonna be able to use the 90 volts or whatever it is. You'd have to use a smaller voltage, but if you have this with your Arduino somewhere in the house, you could inject power somewhere else and you wouldn't have to plug this board in remotely. So it does use power over Ethernet, just not the exact standard. This is the go-between shield from Mayhew Labs. The go-between shield is pretty simple. If you have a couple shields that want to use the same pin, you can use the go-between shield to essentially reassign that pin to another pin's location. So it's kind of like just moving the pin away. And you have all these little solder jumpers that you can just solder them together and make pin eight, let's say, move over to pin 10. So if you have some conflicts with pins between shields, check out the go-between shield. This is the CMU cam. The CMU cam is a very interesting board. It has a propeller chip and it actually has this little camera on it and it allows your Arduino to do vision detection. It can detect different objects, different colors, and it can actually track them within the vision sensor so you can get an idea of where they're located. So if you want to do some basic vision detection, check out the CMU cam. Here we have the audio codec shield. The audio codec shield is essentially a breakout for the Wolfson WM8731IC. We have an input and output jack and we've also got a couple of potentiometers here. The input is sampled, taken from analog, convert to digital, and then in there you can use your Arduino and these knobs to change all sorts of different parameters and then the sound is then broken from digital back to analog and then output over here. Everything is done at 24 bits so it has a nice high sampling rate and you can do all sorts of things like guitar pedals, effects, and you can even make your own musical instruments. This is the Telemate. The Telemate allows your Arduino to display text and graphics on your television. It's pretty rudimentary. It's not like super high graphics or anything like that. Think back to Atari, Asteroids, or something along those level. Um, it has this cable that goes from the mono headphone jack into a standard RCA type connector for your television. And you can create all sorts of little games, demos, overlays, or other kind of graphical interfaces. This is the ProtoShield for the Pro Mini. If you have a Pro Mini, this gives you a nice little board to use as a prototyping platform. You can throw a few little components on it. We have some VCC ground lines and a couple other things broken out. So it's a nice little addition to the back end of a Pro Mini. This is the Mamba Shield from LinkSprite. The Mamba Shield allows you to use your Arduino to inject data across the power lines in your house. So instead of using wireless or some other kind of mesh network, you can actually use the household wiring in your house. And using the Mamba Shield, you can actually send data and um, read sensors and all sorts of other things with just the wiring that's in your house. This is the Musical Instrument Shield. The Musical Instrument Shield uses the VS1053IC to create your very own musical instrument. Connect this to an Arduino and you can use the included tone bank that's on the IC to do woodwinds, brass, drums, percussion, all sorts of different things and create your own musical instruments all out of the little headphone jack. We even have a little speaker output so you can connect it to a speaker as well. This is the USB host shield. If you want to interface your Arduino with input devices like a keyboard, a thumb drive, or maybe even a digital camera, you're going to need a USB host and this shield gives you exactly that. This is the 4x4 shield. The 4x4 shield allows you to switch up to 16 different DC loads up to 30 volts and 5 amps a piece. Has this nice little DB25 jack that sits right there in the middle so you can connect it to a DB5 cable and remotely control whatever it is you're trying to do. It also comes with these nice headers and it gives you an easy way to control a lot of high current devices. This is the power driver shield. As you can see, it comes with a kit, it comes with um, all these different MOSFETs, some connectors, some headers, um, a couple LEDs, and some resistors, and it comes with this nice big ATX connector. You can use an ATX computer power supply to get 12 volts and 5 volts, and then with the Arduino, you can actually control high current 12 volt and 5 volt power. So you've got a bank of three 5 volt and a bank of three 12 volt. So you can easily switch a lot of current with your Arduino using an ATX power supply as the source. This is the Spectrum Shield. Spectrum Shield has an audio in and an audio output, and in between it has an MSEQ7IC. Basically, it splits the audio band up into seven 
distinct frequency bands and it reads those into the analog inputs of the Arduino. So you can look at the full frequency of your audio band and select a frequency and see the amplitude of it. Makes it really interesting for uh, making little bar graph indicators or spectrum analyzers, things like that. This is the Arduino Ethernet Shield with the PoE module. This allows your Arduino to talk over the Ethernet network and it also has the fully compliant PoE. So the PoE is power over Ethernet and allows you to inject power over the unused pins on your Cat5 network and then be able to power the board remotely. This is the Wi-Fi Shield. If you want to connect your Arduino to a wireless network, you're going to want one of these. It uses the RN131C module for roving networks and allows you to connect to a network, talk to it, send data, do all sorts of things all wirelessly. This is the Touch Shield. The Touch Shield uses the MPR121IC that gives your Arduino touch sense capabilities. It has these nine little touch pads that when you touch, it shows up as an input on the Arduino and even has another three that you can connect to external pads. So you could do uh, metal foil, wires, things like that. When you touch them, the Arduino can sense it and you can use them for inputs or whatever else. This is the Proto Screw Shield. The Proto Screw Shield is one of our many prototyping shields. The difference with the Proto Screw Shield is it actually has all these little screw terminals that connect down the sides. A typical shield will have just the headers that you plug the wires into, but sometimes you actually need something to tighten down. So this uses the little screw terminals instead, and it gives you a little bit wider prototyping area. If you need to store data on your Arduino, the micro SD shield is a good way to go. The micro SD shield has a little card socket for a micro SD card, and it allows you to talk to the card and actually store data and retrieve data directly from the card.